it's Swiftkey and welcome to my new series, Corey and Cross's Dead and Breakfast. <laughs> and a lot of you are probably looking at this and going, what the heck Swiftkey, what are you playing? <laughs> well, I was kind of looking through Steam, trying to figure out what I wanted to do for my next series, and my last two series have been very serious and very dark and I just I felt like we needed something a little more fun on the channel for a change uh, so the last fun series I did was hustle cat so I was kind of like you know looking around at these silly types of games and I came across this one and it just looks so cute that I was like I have to try this so basically the premise is um, it's a story driven adventure game it kind of looks almost like a point-and-click adventure game and you were this young girl Corin who has to go and house it for a friend who has been hospitalized. But when you get there, you find out that it is actually a haunted bed and breakfast. <laughs> so you end up having to run this bed and breakfast that is pretty much just full of ghosts. So I thought it was a super cute idea. The art style looks adorable. Uh, and it actually won, I think, a indie game award. So it's gotten some pretty good reviews. So I decided to give it a shot. I don't know if it'll be any good, but Let's go on this magical dead and breakfast adventure together, shall we? So let's start a new game. And something tells me I'm going to get to stretch my uh, voice acting skills, and I sure am. There is no voice acting. All right. So I'm assuming this is Corin here. Oh, also, another thing that made me want to play it, Corin has purple hair, and I just felt a bit of a kinship with her over that. <laughs> So I was like, he's seem cool. I'll play this game. So this is Corian here. I'm assuming she's on the phone with her mother. Because that's the face I make when my mom calls me. <laughs> she's just like, yes, mom. Don't get me wrong. I absolutely love my mother. But we, we all have moms, right? So, uh, yeah. Uh, what kind of voice am I going to do for mom? Oh, dear. Did you bring flowers for Mrs. Stryan? I have no idea why I made her mother British. But we're going to go with it. Yeah, mom. Good. Go visit her tomorrow at the hospital and drop them off. I will. Try not to mention Gale. I will. You will mention Gale? What? No, I'll try not to mention him. Gosh, Mom. Sigh. Listen, sweetheart, I really appreciate that you're doing this. You didn't really give me much of a choice. Corin. I mean, isn't there anyone else who could do this? I never even talked to Gail after high school. Oh gosh, is your friend who's in the hospital somebody you haven't talked to since high school? Yeah, I can understand your trepidation then. I've never even met his mom before. What am I supposed to say to her? I don't know, isn't that what they taught you at writer school? <laughs> teach you how to interact with people at writer school at least as far as I know I'm I didn't go to writer school so I wouldn't know I went to biologist school <laughs> what no Corin I'm sorry but there isn't just isn't anybody else now I'm also not sure why I'm British and you're not we're going to assume that her mother was from Britain and Corin was born here wherever this is I'm guessing can, I'm guessing Canada since she sounds like me that woman is sick with grief. I mean, Gail was all she had. She's lost everything. Oh, did Gail die? That's even worse. Oh, I thought my friend was hospitalized. Maybe his mother was hospitalized and Gail actually died. Oh, that's so sad. The least you can do is look after her house while she's in the hospital, all right? Yes, okay, so I'm, I'm actually looking for, oh, I'm looking after his mother's house, but my friend actually died. Oh, God. Dot, dot, dot. Just please, Corin. it's only for a week. Seven days. Yeah, okay, I'm sorry, Mom. It's just, it's so weird. I know, sweetheart. Don't worry. All you have to do is water the plants, get the mail. It'll be easy. Yeah, I can do that. Besides, this will be good for you, sweetheart. You can use your free time to focus on your writing a bit. You'll have to put that degree to use someday, right? <laughs> oh, God. I'm having flashbacks to my own conversations with my parents. Yeah, yeah, okay, I get it, Mom. You can always call me if you need help with anything. Thanks, Mom. I think I'll be alright. I have to go, my bus is here. Good luck, Corin. Oh, the art style is so cute! It looks like it's, like, drawn with, I don't know, like, colored leads or something. It's really cute. Bad Chalk Entertainment presents... <laughs>
unicorn crosses dead in breakfast. Oh, they are still so cute. Aww. Created by Cecilia Bishon. I love her messy hair. I really want to grow my hair back out so I can actually get into a ponytail like that. Right now it's super short. Bleaching it to turn it purple is kind of a bad idea in terms of it being healthy. All right, finally here. I'm exhausted. Oh, am, am I in control now? Okay, so we've got energy. We're at day zero. We have $30 to our name and we are in the front yard. Styron family bread and breakfast? That can't be right. Why was Styron not their last name? Or did I not know it was a bed and breakfast? <laughs> I'm guessing she didn't know it was a bed and breakfast. I'm guessing she just thought it was a house. Uh, hi, extremely proper looking older woman. How do I interact with things? Do I hit enter? Oh, excuse me, or is this Mrs. Styron's house? Ah, you, or what kind of voice am I gonna give you? I can't give you the same voice as my mother, but you kind of look like you would have like a posh British voice. <laughs> ah, you must be Miss Cross. Yeah, sorry, how do you know me? Julia told me you'd be coming to look after the house. So this B&B is her home? Indeed, although it's long ceased operations as an inn. It's simply the Styron family house now. Oh, thank goodness. I wouldn't know anything about running a B&B. So are you and Mrs. Styron friends? We've been neighbors for many years. My cemetery is adjacent. <laughs> you live in a freaking cemetery? I'm sorry, what? Well, I mean, it is a Honda B&B, but I don't know that yet. You can see it at the end of the garden path there. Oh, wow. Are you a mortician or something? No, I was a funeral director. However, like the bed and breakfast, my business is retired. Now I simply look after the property and tend to the graves. Because I'm super spooky like that. <laughs> wow, that's pretty cool. Indeed. <laughs> Julia rang and asked me to give you the key to the house. Here you are, Miss Cross. The weird lady gave you the house key. You can open the front door now. Oh, thank you. Hmm, those flowers you have there, are they for Mrs. Styron? Oh, yeah, I was going to go visit her at the hospital tomorrow. They're no good. Uh, sorry? Flowers that have been cut are no good. They've lost the roots. They'll rot quickly. Uh, okay. Follow me. Don't dawdle. This way. Uh, okay. Uh. Take this. The weird lady handed you a watering can. It's empty. You can replenish it at the spigot. Press S to open your inventory. Use A and D to switch categories. Okay. Try selecting the water can while facing the spigot. If you need a refresher on the controls, press A. Okay. Oh, I have a laptop. Cool. Okay. Uh, enter. This doesn't seem right. Oh, do I have to? Ah, okay. I can change her direction. I see. S. Empty watering can. You filled up the watering can. Do 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 do. Okay, now what? Okay, it's all filled up. Good. Now I want you to water this potted plant over here. Simply use your watering can on it. Okay. You watered the plant. Hooray! Is that enough water? I've never really gardened before. You've done well. The plant will be able to grow now. By tomorrow, it will be in full bloom. You'll be able to take it to Julia at the hospital. And will not, it will not wilt like your bouquet of severed blooms. I gotta admit, this is nicer. Thanks for the lesson, Miss, uh... You may call me... Her... Hermina? Hermina? I'm gonna go with Hermina. Hermina. You're an interesting girl, Miss Cross. I'll be keeping an eye on you. Uh, alrighty then. It's getting late. I'm sure you're exhausted after your travels. I'll bid you a good night. 
Bye then. <laughs> Farewell. <laughs> what a weird lady. Agreed. Still, I'm kind of excited to see this little guy in blue. Yeah. Will I eventually be able to plant more plants? I guess I can't go that way. Okay, I guess I'll go in the house. Do, 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 do. I love her little walk. Do, 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 do. Can I check the... Looks like there's no mail. Okay. I don't think there was anything else to interact with, so let's go in the house. Cool. So this is it. Welcome. Breakfast at 7 and 9. Wi-Fi password. Star FBAB16. Heart. Okay. Wow, a sitting parlor? This kind of, this house is kind of old-fashioned. I like it though. It's cool. Oh, I can play the piano. <laughs> My god, I'm skilled. Some sheet music, board games, and books for children. Just kind of checking out to see what I can interact with. Oh, I guess this is like the check-in desk. Yeah, I can push the bell. Nothing on the television. All right. Kitchen? Maybe I should learn how to cook. Yeah, you and me both, girl. I mean, I can cook, but I'm not, like, amazing at it or anything. Girl, you're getting a bit laggy there. Did you just turn on the stove? Yeah, turn it back off. Please don't burn the house down. Okay, I'm guessing this is the dining room. Yep, that's a lot of chairs. Well, I mean, if you're a B&B, you're going to have people staying there, so you need enough food seating for all of them. Oh, let's go through the door. Yeah, okay. What's behind door number one? So I can see the staircase there. Oh, it's a tiny bathroom. Cool. Eh, I can flush the toilet for no reason. How exciting. All right, staircase. Wow, this house just keeps going. I better find a room I can sleep in. I'm exhausted. Oh, here's a room. I guess this will be my room. I should put my laptop somewhere. Press W for a hint on which items you can interact with. You can toggle this on and off. Oh, okay. In case I get sick of guessing. Well, I'm gonna go check out the, the other rooms first. I'm guessing this is another bathroom. And it is. You found a candle in the drawer. Oh, sweet. Is there gonna be like a showering ghost at some point? Gotta flush the toilet, man. All right, I'm gonna guess this is some kind of library or study area. Plenty of books in the bookcase. Read Gardening for Idiots. <laughs> you know what, I'm going to. An idiot can garden. I sure can, I proved that already. All the supplies you'll need are available at the florist. You'll need pots, dirt, and seeds. First, you need to place a pot on a saucer, then fill up that pot with dirt. Sprinkle some seeds on the dirt and then water with your watering can. White flowers need to be watered every day, but other plants only need to be watered once a week. Soon you'll have a garden full of beautiful flowers. Good to know. Nothing else I can interact with here? Well, another, another bookcase. There's a cookbook here. It would probably mean more to me if I knew if you knew how to cook. Yeah, I'm guessing I will eventually learn. What's in here? It's locked. Boo. Yep. Oh, I think this is Mrs. Starn's room. Probably shouldn't be snooping in a room, but you found a candle. Alright. I don't know what I'll need the candles for. Nighttime maybe. Anything else I can snoop through here? There's a crumpled up recipe in the drawer, but it would probably mean more if you knew how to cook. All right, fine. It's locked. I guess these are rooms that people can stay in. Hmm, it's locked. All right. All the other rooms must be locked. Oh, it's locked? <laughs> how many different ways can you respond to a door being locked? Desk, it seems like a good place for a laptop. Well, then I shall put my laptop there. Put your laptop on the desk. 
perfect. Maybe I should write a little before I go to bed. Sure, you're not like super exhausted. It's your laptop. Write in journal, check Insta face. <laughs> Is that supposed to be like their version of Facebook? And turn off. Yeah, write in your journal. Oh, that's how I save. I see. Cool. Right. Cool. Uh, can I check Instaface? At least posted a status update. Did Gail Styron really die? What happened? Oh god. Alright, let's go to bed. Uh, try to sleep. Because you're pretty tired. It's so weird to think. He lived in this house and he's gone now. Yeah, you're probably sleeping in his bed. He was the same age as me. Oh, ugh, what time is it? Dot, 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 dot. I wish I could force myself to sleep. What the? Seriously, it's the middle of the night. Hello? Oh, I don't know what kind of voice this is. <laughs> it could be Her Hermina, but I don't think it is. Come outside. <laughs> I, what? Come outside, Corrine. Come to the garden. Was that? Was it Hermina? Yeah, I'm sure if someone called me on my cell phone in the dead of night and was like, come to the garden, come outside, I would be like, yeah, sure, why not? This seems like a good idea. Why is the TV on? I totally turned that shit off. You ghosts getting uppity already. I just got here, guys. Oh, dear. Oh, it is Hermina. I guess I should have given her Hermina's voice. Hi, why are you calling me in the middle of the night? Hermina? Good evening, Miss Cross. What's going on? It's the middle of the night. You weren't sleeping. You were an insomniac. How, how do you know that? Uh, yeah? How'd you know that? You get a sense of these things when you run a funeral home. Yes, you can tell a lot about people from working with the dead. What? <laughs> Is anyone else having trouble following this? Well, how'd you know my phone number? Julia left it for me. I suppose she thought I might be of some assistant to, assistance to you, given my familiarity with the B&B. &B. Oh, well, what do you want? Come with me, and to make sure you have some water in your watering can. Uh, okay. I do still have water in it, but I will fill it up again. All right, what do you want, spooky woman? Oh, wow, is this part of your cemetery? Indeed, it is one of many lots. I want you to water this plant here, but it's already dead. Only appears that way. Its roots still draw water from the earth. Go ahead. Uh. You watered the plant. You called me out here in the middle of the night to water a half dead plant? I mean, no offense, but you're kind of a creep. <laughs> Crane, we're on the same wavelength here, girl. The plant isn't dead, only a little wilted. I'm sure the soul who rests here will appreciate some blooms on their grave. Okay. Whose is it? Is it, you know, I guess she, I'm guessing she's referring to Gail. No, not him. Someone else. Many people have been interred on my property. What's the point of this anyway? They're dead. They don't care about flowers. Perhaps not, but it still matters. If you see a wilted plant, don't be so quick to dismiss it as a weed. It might just need some care and a bit of water. 
Okay. Do me a favor and handle this yourself from now on. I prefer to rest at this hour. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure most people do. It's in the middle of the freaking night. Right, not like I really have anything better to do. <laughs> I'll leave the gate open for you at night. Good things come to those that pay their respects to the dead, Miss Cross. I will leave you to your restlessness. Good night, Miss Cross. See ya, Hermina. Okay. Can I go over this way? Nope. So I'm guessing I need to grow some flowers for the other two graves, because they don't have any. And that's kind of sad. Okay, well, I've got lots of energy now, so what should I do? No mail. How do I learn how to cook? Uh, also, the blackboard is white clean. I didn't, and there's a car on the desk. That wasn't there before. Can I do anything with it? All right, well, maybe I can learn how to cook. I still haven't done that. can't interact with any of this. Uh, I can interact with the stove. That's it, huh? Okay. Don't know what I'm supposed to do now. Oh, and there's a baseball there. Can I not interact with all these things? there too. Can't do anything with these objects though. Hmm. Yeah, I already read that. Sorry. I'm trying to figure out what I'm supposed to do now. You know, if I read the book, maybe that would help me learn how to cook. Oh, and there's a baseball bat in here. Who's leaving their toys around? Businesses. anything has changed in any of the rooms. Yeah, it's locked. It's locked. Still locked. Okay. It's your laptop. Check in face. Message from Sydney. Hey, Corrine, did you hear that? Or Corrin. Did you hear that Gail Styron died? Oh my god, like, weren't you guys friends? Like, oh my god. Hmm. Guess we can try to sleep. I don't know what else to do with you, woman. You got a ton of energy, but you don't know how to do anything. At least I managed a little bit of sleep. Okay, today I better go visit Miss Styron at the hospital. All right. Let's go do that. Oh, all the little toys and everything are still around. Yeah, someone messed with my chalkboard. And someone turned the TV on again. You ghosty goos need to stop that nonsense. Can I cook yet? I would, I would like to cook, please. No? Just go starve to death while I live here. 
Did the ghosty goose make me breakfast? No, they certainly did not. All right, I guess I'll go get that flower. <laughs> Any mail? Nope. Of course there's no mail, Swift Key. The uh, thingy isn't up. Oh, look, the flowers are ready. Oh, nice. Oh, wow, the flowers bloomed. Oh, Mrs. Starling will like these. You got the good flowers. All right. Let's go check out the graves. Oh, I can't do that. I guess I can only do it at night. All right, so I guess I'll go to the hospital. Guess so. Oh, look at my little scooter. Is that mine? No, that's not mine. I got her. Oh, wow, it's a bumblebee scooter. There's a note attached. Miss Cross, this was Gail's scooter. Feel free to use it while you're looking after the house. The key is attached for Mina. You got the keys to the bumblebee. You can now use the scooter to go out. Awesome. Oh, it's sad that it's Gail's, though. Well, let's go to the hospital. Oh, Hi. Um, Mrs. Stein? Who is that? Come, please, come a little closer. I gotta figure out a voice for her. It's Corin. Corn Cross? Um, you're friends with my mom, Nicole Cross? Oh, you're Nikki's girl. I appreciate you looking after the house. I wasn't expecting you to come visit me. I haven't had any visitors at all. Not even Hermina. She hasn't even, she hasn't been bothering you, has she? Oh no, she's been nice. She even helped me grow those fla these flowers for you. You gave Mrs. Darn the good flowers. Oh, they're lovely. That's very sweet of you. I'm so sorry, my dear. It's been hard to find in my smile since Gail passed. Excuse my poor manners. I, n no, I'm sorry. I can't even imagine it. That, uh, he was such a good boy. You knew him, didn't you? Yes. Yeah, we were in the same year in high school. He was super nice to everyone. And like the smartest kid in class. We kind of lost touch after I left town for college though. You're a sweet girl, Corin. I'll have to thank Nikki for sending you to look after my things. It's no problem at all. I think I should rest now, dear. I hate to ask you to leave, but I'm terribly tired. It's no problem. I hope you feel better. Aww. It's so sad. Dot, 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 dot. Okay. Oh, hey, Hermina. What's up? Hi, Hermina. Hello, Miss Cross. Did the flowers bloom to your liking? Definitely. They looked great. Thanks for your help. How was Julia? She seemed pretty down. I don't know if the flowers really helped. They did. Sometimes the effect of an action is not immediately discernible. I assure you the sentiment will not go unappreciated. I hope so. I have some things for you. Hermina handed you some pot, soil, and seeds. Gardening supplies? I don't think Mrs. Styron will really want more, any more flowers. Not for Julia, though I'm sure she'll be glad that her garden is being tended to. I noticed you have quite the green thumb. You can raise flowers and sell them to the florist for a bit of income. Oh, I guess that doesn't sound so bad. It was kind of nice seeing the flowers grow like that. I could use some pocket money. Good. Here, I'll provide you with the address to the florist. You can now travel to the florist using the bumblebee scooter. You can sell your flowers there and purchase supplies for growing new ones. You need to place a pot, fill it with dirt, plant the seeds, and then water them. If you need some guidance, I believe Julia has some gardening books in the library. Cool, thanks, Arena. My pleasure, Miss Cross. Uh, you can just call me Crane. I must be on my way now, Miss Cross. <laughs> Even a retired funeral director has little time for idling. I think the other graves are beginning to envy the one you tended to. It's got quite a pretty little bloom there. Good day, Miss Cross. Okay. Can I plant flowers on those graves, too? I'd like to do that. Oh, okay. Uh, can I not get to the graveyard right now? Gate is closed. I guess not. Okay, so how many pots did I get? Two. All right. We'll pop a pot down. Uh, and then we'll put the dirt in it. And then we'll put the seeds in it. 
And then we'll water it. Look at me, I'm a little gardener. And then we'll put the pot down. And we'll put this dirt, dirt in it. Dirt first, dirt first. Getting the order mixed up. Seeds. And we water it. And there we go. I'm a little gardening person. All right, so I'm wondering if I should go to the florist and get more pots so I could actually plant some plants on those graves tonight. Well, at least you ghosts left my TV off this time. Little nuisances. I really want to learn how to cook. Why can't I do that? Uh, do I not to get to like eat? Until I've been here a while? Is that what you're telling me? Energy's at 55%. Uh, there's no, like, cooking books in here, was there? Cheap music, board games, and books for children. It's gonna be interesting if, like, things change every day, like, kind of noticing and picking out the things that have changed around the house. That'll be cool. Alright. Yeah, I already read Gardening for Idiots. Thanks. I don't know if they're white flowers or not. It just said seeds. Yeah, I know. Why don't you learn how to cook, woman? Just kind of wandering around the house because I half expect like me to walk into a room and see like a ghost or something. It does not seem to be the case. So let's pop down to the florist, I guess, since we don't really have anything else we can do right now. Do 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 do. Maybe we'll meet a new character. Uh, let's go to the florist. Aw, it's so cute. Chloe's Roses. Cool. Uh, hi. Howdy there, name's Chloe. Haven't seen your face before. So what's your story? Hi, I'm Corinne. I'm looking after Mrs. Styron's house while she's in the hospital. No kidding, poor Julia. I heard Gail had passed, but I had no idea she was sick again. Maybe I should knit her a quilt or something. Anyways, what can I do for you, Corn? Well, I'm looking after Mrs. Stein's garden. I came here to get some supplies and stuff. A neighbor told me. A neighbor? You must mean Hermina. How is that weird old bat? Uh, she's a, she's. Let me guess. She told you all about how flowers need roots and all that, right? Yeah, she said that kook. Still, she gives me a lot of business with that funeral home of hers. Sends all her customers my way for their floral needs, you know. I. <laughs> She keeps getting interrupted. Of course, I don't get so much business from her now that she's retired and all. Guess all that land of her just got filled up or something. I... <laughs> Still, some people like to leave flowers on the graves and all. I get some business from that. Gee, sorry for talking your ear off. Oh, it's just that I get real bored sitting around the store all day. It's nice having someone to chat with. Anyways, if you want to buy supplies or sell me flowers, that'd be just fine. I've got everything you can need. I've only got 30 bucks on my person. So we'll buy a clay pot. One clay pot. And we got an extra seed. And we'll buy some dirt. And then we'll be good. Okay. Cancel. Now you take care of Julie's garden, alright? I will. Can I interact with anything here? Hey, what do you think you're doing? You can't go back there. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Please don't hate me, Chloe. Alright. I will hold on to that pot and dirt, and hopefully I will be able to... Um, plant it on a grave tonight, I guess. Because I can't get to the graveyard in the daytime, which is kind of annoying. Or maybe I need to grow, no, I bet I need to grow the flowers here, and then when once they're bloomed, I can move them to the graves. Okay, um, so let's actually do that. Dirt, seeds, 
and water. Bam. All right, we're at 32 energy, and I've actually been going for a while, so I think I might actually end this part here, but first I'm gonna pop up and save it by going to my journal and saving. It's your laptop. But first, let's check Instaface. Joel posted on Gail's page. Gail, this is a joke, right? Oh my god. So sad. I can't handle it. Right in my journal. Uh... All right. Okay, so I think I'm actually going to end this part here. So let me know what you guys think of this series. I think it's pretty cute so far. I know it's a little slow, but I imagine it will pick up as I unlock more things, um, like the cooking and so, and as more like ghostly things start to happen. So yeah, it's a bit of a slow start, but I kind of like that. It'll help build, build the suspense as like I start to discover the ghosts kind of floating around and stuff. So yeah, let me know about if what you guys think. Do you, do you think I should turn this into a series? I probably will because it's pretty fun to play. But let me know what you think down in the comments below. I really love hearing from you guys and hearing what you think of the different series that I do and what types of games you, you would like to see me play. Um, and if you did enjoy this video and you are looking forward to the rest of the series, please press the like and subscribe buttons. I really do appreciate all of your support. And I will see you guys in my next video. Have a great day. Bye.